Hey, how's it going everybody? It's Mr. Zombie Slayer, and I'm here today with a tutorial for how to hook up your PS4 controller to your PC or laptop or whatever you have going on. Uh, so it's pretty quick, pretty easy. Uh, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the first step, which is uh, there's a website down below. Uh, I have the link in the description. It's for ds4windows.com. Once you get here, there'll be a whole bunch of options. Just click download now. It's a big green box, and then that'll take you to the second page. Uh, here you can see the downloads. There are several versions. Right now mine is 1.4.401, uh, but it could be different depending on when you're watching this. So for me, I'll have this one. Uh, you'll also need WinRAR. I'll have a link for that down below as well, so just download that if you don't already have it. But once you do, where it says ds4windows.zip, so click on that. And then this download should only take a little bit, not just a couple seconds. Once it is down, once it's downloaded, you can just click it and drag it to your desktop like so. Close it to Chrome. Okay, now right click on the RAR and then extract to DS4 Windows. This will just make its own little folder. You can go ahead and move that out of the way. Once you have your folder here, just go ahead and double click to open. Now you have two options, DS4 Updater and DS4 Windows. For us, just click on Windows right now. Run. Once this menu pops up, all you have to do is click on Program Folder. And then right here, this DS4 Windows menu will pop up. Uh, we can go ahead and close out of that because mine is already up to date, but yours may not be up to date. So if yours isn't up to date when you're doing this, all you have to do is click on DS4 Updater. It's right above DS4 Windows. Click Run. This little menu here will pop up. Uh, it could update automatically, and it'll say if it is. Mine's already up to date, so once it's finished here, just click Open DS4W. That's DS4 Windows click run and then it'll bring us back to this menu here uh, as you can see when you click on controllers nothing is identified yet so what you need to do is grab your controller I have mine in my hand uh, you need your micro USB cord so plug the micro USB into the controller and then the USB into your computer and then once you do that your computer will either identify it as it's already been installed or if it hasn't ever been used on your computer before, then your computer will automatically install the driver for the controller. Mine's already been installed, so my controller is already shown here. Uh, but if it's not shown, all you have to do is hit stop, close out of this, go back to DS4 Windows, open it up, run, go back to the controllers menu, and then your controller should show up. Uh, you can change the light bar color, uh, use a custom color if you want, choose whatever. I'll just use a blue for now, I guess. Uh, and then you can select your profile, make a new profile. And then you can edit like the controls, uh, map it to however you want it. And also, when you're playing a game, never close out of this menu, the controller menu, always minimize it. But you can close out of this folder menu here. But uh, And it always goes down over here to your little tab at the bottom. So you can click on it and reopen it. And here it is. Just never close out of it. Always keep it open. Uh, but when you're done, you can hit stop down here at the bottom and then close out. But that's really about it for the video, guys. So if you enjoyed or it helped you in any way, please leave a like. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe as I really do appreciate it. Also, if you're having trouble or you're stuck and you don't know what to do, just leave a comment and I'll respond as soon as possible. I'm usually pretty quick about responding. But once again, thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed my content, please check out some other videos on my channel. That is it for the video, guys. This is Mr. Zombie Slayer, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.